name is Green Hassan! Hello and welcome back to my Polish campaign. Previously I made this pretty little tunnel to Asia from Moscow as you can see. Of course it's a huge border goal but I will repair that by fighting great odds. Maybe today, maybe in the next episode we will see because there is a lot of going on. Of course previously I managed to decrease the amount uh, of uh, heretic princes in the HRE. There are now 6, just 6. And I will, I'm going to make Saxony Catholic and then I think I will pass the reform on the internal peace in the HRE. Five uh, heretic princes are okay. And, oh, and uh, okay. That's from the normal news. Because I have two great news. Of uh, First of all, uh, I showed you at the uh, end of the last episode that there is a Jagiel in the Great Britain. They already claimed they from but I'm not attacking them yet because I'm building some fleet to have any chance to get to the uh, island. Uh, what is more, I didn't see that on the, at the end of the uh, last episode, but look at this. Of course, I was fighting on the throne for the throne of Denmark because the leader was uh, 45 years old. <laughs> and now see this. There is a Jagiellon in Denmark. Oh, uh, you can see that. Oh, and Denmark gained uh, personal union with Sweden, so that's even greater. Uh, so you can see that this Jagiel Denmark, he doesn't have an heir, so I'm claiming they from immediately, right now, and I'm declaring war on them in the next month. So let's turn on, turn on all the forts. Yes, I will do a quick war with Denmark, I will gain the personal union with them in Sweden thanks to that. In the meantime, my fleet will uh, end being built. And I will attack also Great Britain. What is the British army right, right now? Let's look. Uh, they have 40,000. So that might be problematic. But we, I think we may manage to, uh, to win that somehow. Let's beat maybe even more transport ships to have at least 25,000 of army of trans uh, to, to be transported uh, Kaluga so let's take care of these rebels and then get back over here um, yeah of course uh, est estates uh, grant more report charters uh, diplomatic power some money clergy administrative power uh, called diet that's all for now so I can repay m one of my loans. Yeah, and... Okay, let's unite these fleets. Okay, so I will have 15 uh, heavy ships and 23, I think, uh, transport ships for the war with against uh, uh, Great Britain. Why they have much more of them, I, as I remember, they have 20, probably. Uh, heavy ships, yes, 22 heavy ships. But we managed to win it somehow. Yeah, I want to get a sneaky peeky uh, descent over here. But yeah, first of all, let's take care of Denmark. Okay, let's declare the war. Of course, let's get all this free. And confirm. Yes. Riazan. Oh, okay, I'm taking care of them. Okay, and I can go with this one army over here, with these two armies uh, over here. And that's just perfect. Of course, my vassals will make a lot of work over here. So, because of that, I think I might get this one stuck uh, ready. So this stack will be uh, going to Great Britain. The plan is to get uh, the stack over here, uh, occupy it, build mercenaries and try to get the whole island. I hope the army is a piece of shit. I have 4.5 morals, while the Brits have... Um, mm, 
Great Britain. Um, 3.8. Okay, so it should be a piece of cake, to be honest. So if everything goes as planned, we will get two unions, even three unions in this episode, because I will get also a union with Sweden. Oh my god, Denmark has 50 ships over here. So yeah, we should have to firstly finish the war with Denmark. Um, I think I might help Austrians over here. I don't know if we have any chance. And I will not risk uh, losing my fleet. We don't have probably to go even to Sealand to get enough war score. So let's let's do it fastly. Mm. All right, uh, let's maybe detach siege and go straight to Stockholm. This one stuck might go here. Oh, it will be hard. Oh, well, just the Empress died. I thought it was an error, an error in the British Islands, but not yet. So that's just great. Jagiellon's rules. Oh, Austrians won that uh, naval battle. So we might try. Okay, let's get an admi admiral and let's uh, maybe firstly get this fort and then we will try to go to Sealand, to the capital. Uh huh. So everything is perfect. It's just as planned. Oh, these 50 sh ships over here. They have 10 heavy ships and 40 galleys. Hmm. <laughs> okay, this fort should now die. So let's stack wipe the Swedes over here. This stack might go over here. Yeah, pretty stack wipe. I can also stack wipe uh, this Swedish army of 9,000 men. Yeah, I'll be on time. Just perfect. I'm so happy about the new Turco Polish tension. Whoa, a lot of manpower for me. I'm almost on the uh, highest amount of it that I might get. I'm also, I'm already uh, spending out of my own my army, so I'm not building any new for now. So let's build in a half. Let's get it over here. We can, of course. Oh no, this stack doesn't have any artillery. That's unfortunate. At least my vassals will come here soon. Yeah, I wanted to barrage the siege, but it's hard to barrage without any artillery. Uh, I chose the wrong stack to go over here. That's my bad, I'm sorry. We have a new heretic prince, you can see. There are seven now. Oh, of course, the Palatinate and uh, Saxony are heretics. What about my truce with Verden? Nine more years. Too much. But we might get. Um, hmm. What we might get? Maybe if we get Schleswig from Denmark in this piece. We will be able to make claims on Friesland, yes, on Friesland and and Utrecht and Kellere in the future, maybe. So it might be useful to get one province. Okay, let's try to fight. Okay, there will be here 24th and beyond 20th. Let's try to win this battle. Uh, one stability, I will definitely take that. Let's look. Yeah, it's an easy battle. Friedrich Jagiellon is fighting against me. Brother against a brother. Okay, a new technology. What about... Uh, yeah, the institution is not coming uh, fastly, so let's take the technology. Uh, I will soon end my administrative ideas and it will mean even more morals for me. It is occupied by Scotland. Oh. 
Great Britain. They doesn't have any wars. Mm, okay, I have eight transport ships over here. So to sum up all my transports, I have 24. It should be enough to get uh, the British Islands. Um, I am at war with Anderberg and Hamburg. Are they heretics? Hamburg is not, Oldenburg as as well. Mm, yeah. But, no, but, no buts. Uh, I will not take the province. So let's maybe bait this Swedish army to come over here once again. Okay, I'm running out of prestige. But the forcing personal union will give me a lot of that. So that's not a problem. I'm not taking the military technology yet because I would uh, lose a lot of uh, gain a lot of corruption because of that, because of the unbalanced research. Okay, you can you can see that these provinces are becoming Catholic now. So that's great, and I'm almost fully Catholic. It looks really cool, I think. Unfortunately, the Orthodox uh, faith is uh, dying. They, there are also, of course, Orthodox provinces in the Byzantium. But yeah, in the Russia it's dying. Okay, I can repay my loan. Not yet. Okay, um, there is a Friesland army, but they are not in this war. They are just giving... Uh, they... Uh, what? I forgot the name. Condottieri. They're giving the Condottieri. Yeah, we should be able to piece this war out soon. We can get maybe from the papal influence. Hmm. I think I will get yearly prestige because we are running a little bit out of it. We've gained Stockholm now. So let's try to catch this Danish army. And we are finishing the administrative ideas right now and our morals are 4.98 so almost 5 morals so that's great we can get even more by increasing our prestige and army tradition let's look at this battle yes easy one let's go to Trondheim now how close are we okay I should piece out Oldenburg War reparations and money. Okay. What about Hamburg? Mm, but close. Yes, I'm. Let's maybe. I don't know where they flee. Okay, it is over here. And it is going uh, over here. So we might try to rush. To rush uh, the Sealand with our fleet let's go it might be risky but I want to finish this war as fast as possible let's hope this fleet will not come over here soon and we'll be able yeah they are starting to come yeah I think I should I don't know what I should go do they have 10 heavy ships I have 15 Mm. Okay, they will come here on 3rd, it will come here on 7th. Okay, I'm coming back to Swupsk. I don't want to risk uh, losing any heavy ships because I really need them for a war against... Uh, for a war against... Uh, Great Britain. Alright. Well, we already have 43% of war score, so it should go fastly. Oh, that's such a long way. Yeah, maybe when we occupy Kalmar and a few more provinces, we should be able to piece them out easily. Mm, I can repay the loan definitely now. You can see that I have over 104 income now. So everything is really perfect and the Great British Great Britain still doesn't have an heir. So I'm still able to declare war on them. Munster can uh, release a nation in Groninger. 
So let's see. Where is that? Gary? Oh. It's over here. Okay, the province is uh, Protestant. So no, I will raise just one more Protestant nation while Munster is Catholic. So nope, I will not do this. Oh my god, Austrians, why are you doing this? This fleet might be useful in the war against Great Britain, come on. Bashkirian separatists, it's over here, I think. Yeah, it's this one province. I can just increase the autonomy over here, same over here. Yeah, I, I don't need any income from these provinces, so I just increase the autonomy. Okay, what about pissing out now? Union with Denmark. Well, we are getting closer. Maybe if I catch your army over here, it will change your mind. Yeah, I will fight on minus two, even minus three, I think. Maybe I can get a better general over here. Let's take this one. And let's see. Oh, I have such a better morale than them. Yeah, thanks for that, I'm winning it easily with Frederick Jagiellon. Okay. Who is coming? Okay. Even one more Danish army over here. And I'm winning with them as well, even if they are outnumbering me so much, but my allies just came. So that's pretty easy. GGZ. We have 47 war score now. What else? New states, yeah, I, thanks to the uh, completing administrative ideas, I can take new states. So let's think. Novgorod, Pskov. Mm. Let's see. Livonia, Smolensk. Ukraine, Dniepr, uh, Pripyat, Minsk. Mm. Yeah, Novgorod and Pskov looks, looks the best, but I would have to call it fully. So for now, yeah, for now let's let's take it, and I will not call it fully, not yet, because first I need to take a technology. Okay, that's okay. Now we should be able to piece them out. It's really close. So let's maybe. Uh, I don't know. I should either occupy uh, Trondlag, Trondheim, I think it's in the Nor Norwegian, or I should go and try to attack them over here. Mm, let's just wait for now. Yeah, we are losing war score for not controlling the capital. But they have a lot of ships over here. I don't know. I don't want to lose mine over here. Mm, yeah, we, I know. I think it's just the uh, cheaper provinces. Let's just carve them. Uh, well, we will win this uh, battle definitely. Yeah, my armies, my vassals are better than Danish army. Uh, okay, I would just take one loan. That's not a problem. Okay. Now they have low attitude. Uh, 90 against 69. So close. Yet so far. Okay. The fleet is now occupied over there. Yeah, it's coming into the battle now, so let's try to rush to Sealand. Byzantine pretender rebels in Corfu. Okay, I have definitely to fight them. Because if they gain in... Okay, it should be a stack wipe. I can go run away from there, because the fleet is coming. Okay, uh, Byzantine... Corfu, okay. Mm, let's take care of that. We cannot. Or no, they do. I forgot. It's not my personal union, so it won't change anything, but still, I think I'll help my vassal. Who is occupying it? Me. 
I think they should agree to piss me out now. Especially if uh, they, they're being stuck wiped now. It's a huge war in the HRE, and, am I right? Well, not that huge. Still seven heretic princes in the HRE. Hey guys, you don't have any army. Why don't you want to piss me out? So yeah, let's get... Okay, maybe now. Oh. Okay, I will start getting ready to go to Great Britain now. Because we have just 10 more minutes of this episode. I And I want to make a personal union with Great Britain today. Yeah, they have a huge war in uh, Mexico, you can see. This army might start coming back to Europe. Okay, now they definitely accept that. Okay. Okay. Personal union, claim loss, personal union. Let's look at the player's map mode. <laughs> oh my god. It's so OP. We have 11 on 6 relations right now, because of that. So let's start thinking about the new reform, I think. Uh, okay. No, first of all, let's take care of the British problem. Invest in a new technology, not yet. Uh, truce with Saxony expired, so I might fastly try to make them Catholic. They are allied just to Bremen and Nuremberg, so let's do it. Let's go and occupy it. This army will get ready with this general to go to Great Britain and show them that Polish Personal Union League is the best. Uh, I should get a province to clergy. What about this one? Yes. Uh, Switzerland has a lawful territory. With Württemberg. Okay. That's great. State is Catholic because it came back to Ravensburg. No! No! My four ships! You motherfucker! You motherfucker! They stuck wiped six ships! Six transport ships! Ah! Hate them! For that! Also, it's my bad because I didn't look properly to take care of that. But okay, that's not a problem. You are getting to Great Britain now. You can also see that Hungary doesn't have any heir and 30 years old, uh, 38 years old uh, monarch. Huh. We might think about getting a person you know, with them as well. So first, let's re uh, improve relations. Yeah. Oh my god. A lot of vassals. We have definitely to take uh, influence ideas as, as, as the next ideas. Okay, this oh, where are going? Go back here. Okay, I think I will not be able to end the war with Great Britain today. We don't have enough time. Okay, 20,000. So let's just take 20,000 from over here. Uh, that should be enough. Five siege, so that's great. And we can go over there. This army are going to Corfu slowly. I hope it will work out because uh, yeah, it will not be that easy to fool the British fleet. So I'm going over here to Morai Firth. Okay. We will wait until this fleet will go away. Just go away. As far as possible. Oh my god, it will be so hard. Uh, but I think I have an idea, to be honest. 
Okay, let's look at Scotland. Would you give me free basic? All right, I will take free basic rights for Scotland. First of all, secondly, I will ask them for military access, and what will be my strategy? I will see in a few days. Uh, first of all, I will go with this fleet to Orkney, so I will land in this uh, in this island. And then I will place my heavy ships here and here, so I block uh, the British ar army by losing navy by losing with it. But uh, my army should uh, have enough time to go through this strait. So let's get me their access. And now, okay, let's try to do this. Declare war. All right. Let's land in Orkney. And now look at it. One stack over here, one stack over here, and you're going here. We have just two weeks, guys. We can do this. It will be enough. Yes, I can even hide my fleet now, so I will not lose it probably. Okay. Uh, right, we can take the technology finally for the new artillery. And we've got these guys. Now I just have to occupy this, build as much uh, mercenaries as possible. I think I will build just 10,000. And yeah, we've got this. We can, I think, peace out Bremen for money and more money. More operations and money. And we've got this. Yeah, I'm so happy. Of course, we might have a chance. No, we might not have a chance. Even with this Danish fleet of 50 uh, stacks, but no. Okay, we can of course improve relations with Denmark because they might have high, high uh, liberty desire because of that of ours, of course. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Let's go further. <laughs> yeah, and we guys we will have personal union with almost whole Europe. And I think we will fight for the Hungarian personal union in the next episode if everything goes. We just lost the claim. Let's see. Uh, because uh, they have Elizabeth Jagiellon as then an heir. But we don't care. We are making a personal union, guys. Come to the PLC. It's the best personal union in the history of personal unions. That's what you want. If, if you don't want, you want that. I think Kuban, uh, I can increase autonomy over here. I cannot it's just because of the missionary, so I don't care. Of course, I can make three more mercenaries over here. And yeah, let's unite it. And we might go to West Marsh, which is hills. And let's occupy the rest of the terrain so with mercenaries. Everything is as planned. It's great. Uh, these uh, feed basing rights from Scotland was uh, 200 IQ. Uh, so now I might go back over here, hide myself, and cancel the feed basing rights. As I, you can you can see, I have too many diplomatic relations. Six too many. So let's cancel it. In a few weeks, you can go over here. You can go over here. I can bridge the walls to make this war much faster. Mm, what else might I do? Yes, cancel the military access over here. So, yeah, mm, is Ausbur voting for me? Yes, it is. I have one, two, three, four, five votes. I think I can cancel my alliance with Augsburg. Uh, where was that? Augsburg. I think it's somewhere over here. Uh, let's maybe find it this way. Augsburg. It's over here. Okay, I will. Okay, I cannot do this. If not, okay. No, no, I don't want to do this. I want to dis dissolve the alliance just. Uh, I can improve relations with them in a second. 
so they will, I think definitely still vote for me it's 106 now so we and I have now 10 on 6 diplomatic relations we can peace out Nuremberg so let's get war operations and money and finally let's peace out Saxony force religion war operations money yeah Top of potential rebels uh, nothing really interesting right now okay I can go with this stack of somewhere over here let's now go with these stacks over here with these stacks over here and let's occupy this fort now let's siege it mm, and we can check in one of our Holy Roman Empire I think let's bridge the walls we have a lot of military power you can see we are uh, 10 years ahead so we don't care about the military points we can spend it on the Blitzkrieg on the islands the British islands you can see that we have now 8 heretic princes oh my god so some new some new princes, uh, princes appeared so yeah, I'm okay it's Würzburg first of all so let's make claim on them what more uh, it's of course mag no what is this okay and of course Verden so let's make claims I don't have to improve relations with Sweden anymore and let's take care of the breeds now yeah they have some armies 30,000 Okay, so let's maybe try to, maybe not even try, let's just rape them over here because they have 21% of siege it should be very easy you can see that they have much better morals, yeah, sure <laughs> not even close my friends you will be perfect as vassals, you cannot fight wars by yourselves Then I have a straight, uh, a straight uh, way to the London, to the capital. So let's just get speed four. What is that? Innovativeness. Let's lose it. I don't care. All right. Piece of cake. And now, great. Now we can go to straight to the capital. We can repay one loan. The only loan that we had yeah let's of course barrage it so everything is as planned as you can see guys we have <laughs> almost 2000 of development so everything is just perfect okay we should rush this British uh, this London fort because they are going pretty well over there in the Heretics, I don't care about heretics. In the north. Okay, come on, come on, come on. 21%. Faster, faster. We don't have time, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. You can do this faster. Faster. This fortress is dying right now. Yeah. And uh, just one more month in the London. Let's get this faster. Yes, let's just rush over here. I hope you'll be on time. If you if you will, it should be an easy stack wipe. An offer to return from Brandenburg. On which province? Or oh, we can choose even. Um, oh, Gracefort. Gracefort is Catholic. So let's release that. Ah, it's just Pomeranian, that's, so it doesn't matter. It didn't change much. Please don't die, my pretty... Yeah, this is outbreak. It's perfect. We might get some... 
nothing right now. We take uh, the stability when we get to a hundred proper influence. So it should be a definite stack wipe. It must be a stack wipe. Yes, now let's go to West Marsh. Let's rush it. Okay. They have just 600 of defenders over here, so let's just bl make a blitzkrieg over here. What about peacing out over here? Uh, we are getting close. If I stack wipe this army, it should be enough. And op occupy the rest of the terrains. Not even I don't even have to. Okay, uh, let's siege this. Let's make claims. First one. Second one. Okay. I'm sorry, guys, that this episode is so long, but I don't know. Do you want me to end uh, this war with Great Britain in this episode? Maybe the next one. Uh, and I, I had to start it uh, in this episode because in any second they would had uh, um, an error, and as you could see, they've gained it a few months after the start of the war. Yeah, the time is up pretty much, so I think I might end on that. Two personal union on one episode are, is a pretty good uh, score, you can see the player's math move. Thank you guys very much for watching and see you soon. Yeah.